a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Om Shinrikyo Om Shinrikyo is a Japanese doomsday cult founded by Shoko Asahara in 1984. It carried out the deadly Tokyo subway sarin attack in 1995, and was found to have been responsible for another smaller sarin attack the previous year. The group never confessed. Those who carried out attacks did so secretly, without being known to ordinary believers. Asahara broadcast his singing, insisting on his innocence through a radio broadcast on a signal they purchased in Russia and directed toward Japan. Om Shinrikyo which split into Aleph and Hikari Noir in 2007, has been formally designated a terrorist organization by several countries, including Russia, Canada, Kazakhstan, and the United States. Japan's Public Security Examination Commission considers Aleph and Hikari Noir to be branches of a dangerous religion, and it announced in January 2015 that they would remain under surveillance for three more years. The Japanese government ended surveillance of Hikari Noir in 2017, but continued to keep Aleph under watch. Doctrine Om Shinrikyo slash Aleph is a syncretic belief system that draws upon Asahara's idiosyncratic interpretations of elements of early Indian Buddhism, and Tibetan Buddhism, as well as Hinduism, taking Shiva as the main image of worship and incorporating millennialist ideas. From the Christian Book of Revelation, Yoga, and the writings of Nostradamus. Its founder, Chizuo Matsumoto, claimed that he sought to restore original Buddhism. In 1992, Matsumoto, who had changed his name to Shoko Asahara, published a foundational book, declaring himself to be Christ, Japan's only fully enlightened master, as well as identifying himself as the Lamb of God. Asahara's purported mission was to take upon himself the sins of the world, and he claimed he could transfer spiritual power to his followers and ultimately take away their sins and bad deeds. While many discount Tom Shinrikyo's claims of Buddhist characteristics and his affiliations with Buddhism, scholars often refer to it as an offshoot of Japanese Buddhism, and this was how the movement generally defined and saw itself. Asahara outlined a doomsday prophecy, which included a third world war instigated by the United States. According to Robert J. Lifton, an American psychiatrist and author, Asahara, described a final conflict culminating in a nuclear Armageddon, borrowing the term from the Book of Revelation. Humanity would end, except for the elite few who joined Dom. Am's mission was not only to spread the word of salvation, but also to survive these end times. Asahara predicted that Armageddon would occur in 1997. Kaplan also notes that in his lectures, Shoko Asahara referred to the United States as the Beast from the Book of Revelation predicting that it would eventually attack Japan. Arthur Goldwag, author of a book on conspiracies and secret societies, characterizes Asahara as one who saw dark conspiracies everywhere promulgated by Jews, Freemasons, the Dutch, the British royal family, and rival Japanese religions. In the opinion of Daniel Lamy Taro, Om Shinrikyo justified its violence through its own unique interpretation of Buddhist ideas and doctrines, such as the Buddhist concepts of Mapo and Shoho. Om claimed that by bringing about the end of the world, they would restore Shoho. Furthermore, Lifton believes, Asahara, interpreted the Tibetan Buddhist concept of Poa in order to claim that by killing someone contrary to the group's aims, they were preventing them from accumulating bad karma and thus saving them. The name, usually rendered in English as Supreme Truth, derives from the Sanskrit syllable Om, used to represent the universe, followed by the Japanese Shinrikyo written in kanji. In 2000, the organization changed its name to Aleph, and it also replaced its logo. History The movement was founded by Shoko Asahara in his one bedroom apartment in Tokyo's Shibuya Ward in 1984 starting off as a yoga and meditation class known as and steadily grew in the following years. It gained the official status as a religious organization in 1989, and attracted a considerable number of graduates from Japan's elite universities, thus being dubbed a religion for the elite. Activities Although OM was considered controversial in Japan, it had yet to be associated with serious crimes. 
It was during this period that Asahara became obsessed with biblical prophecies. Am's public relations activities included publishing comics and animated cartoons that attempted to tie its religious ideas to popular anime and manga themes, including space missions, powerful weapons, world conspiracies, and quest for ultimate truth. Om published several magazines including The Hiana Saka and Enjoy Happiness, adopting a somewhat missionary attitude. Isaac Asimov's Science Fiction Foundation trilogy was referenced, depicting as it does an elite group of spiritually evolved scientists forced to go underground during an age of barbarism so as to prepare themselves for the moment when they will emerge to rebuild civilization. Lifton believes that Am's publications used Christian and Buddhist ideas to impress what he considered to be the more shrewd and educated Japanese who were not attracted to boring, purely traditional sermons. In private, both Asahara and his top disciples reportedly continued their humble lifestyles, the only exception being the armored Mercedes-Benz gifted by a wealthy follower. In rather rare footage, Asahara is seen on the street in front of a large clown doll resembling himself smiling happily. Advertising and recruitment activities, dubbed the OM Salvation Plan, included claims of curing physical illnesses with health improvement techniques, realizing life goals by improving intelligence and positive thinking, and concentrating on what was important at the expense of leisure. This was to be accomplished by practicing ancient teachings, accurately translated from original Pali Sutras. These efforts resulted in OM becoming one of the fastest-growing religious groups in Japan's history. David D. Kaplan and Andrew Marshall, in their 1996 book The Cult at the End of the World, The Terrifying Story of the OM Doomsday Cult, from the subways of Tokyo to the nuclear arsenals of Russia, claimed that its practices remained secret. Initiation rituals, assert the authors of the book, often involved the use of hallucinogens, such as LSD. Religious practices often involved extremely ascetic practices claimed to be yoga. These included everything from renunciants being hung upside down to being given shock therapy. Incidents before 1995 The cult started attracting controversy in the late 1980s with accusations of deception of recruits, and of holding cult members against their will, and forcing members to donate money. It murdered a cult member who tried to leave in February 1989. In October 1989, the group's negotiations, with Tsutsumi Sakamoto, an anti-cult lawyer threatening a lawsuit against them which could potentially bankrupt the group, failed. In the same month, Sakamoto recorded an interview for a talk show on the Japanese TV station Tebes. The network then had the interview secretly shown to the group without notifying Sakamoto, intentionally breaking protection of sources. The group then pressured Tebes to cancel the broadcast. The following month Sakamoto, his wife and his child went missing from their home in Yokohama. The police were unable to resolve the case. At the time, although some of his colleagues publicly voiced their suspicions of the group, it was not until after the 1995 Tokyo attack that they were known to have been murdered and their bodies dumped by cult members. Kaplan and Marshall allege in their book that Tom was also connected with such activities as extortion. The group, authors report, commonly took patients into its hospitals and then forced them to pay exorbitant medical bills. The cult is known to have considered assassinations of several individuals critical of the cult, such as the heads of Buddhist sects Soka Gokoi and the Institute for Research in Human Happiness. After cartoonist Yoshinori Kobayashi and TV commentator Dave Spector began satirizing the cult, they were included on OM's assassination list. It attempted to assassinate Kobayashi in 1993. At the end of 1993, the cult started secretly manufacturing the nerve agent Sarin and later VX gas. They also attempted to manufacture 1,000 automatic rifles, but only managed to make one. OM tested its Sarin on sheep at Banja Warn Station, a remote pastoral property in Western Australia, killing 29 sheep. Both Sarin and VX were then used in several assassinations over 1994-95. In December 1994 and January 1995, Masami Sachiya of Om Shinrikyo synthesized 100 to 200 grams of VX which was used to attack three persons. Two persons were injured, and a 28-year-old man died, who is believed to be the first fully documented victim of VX. The VX victim, 
whom Shoko Asahara had suspected was a spy, was attacked at 7 a.m. on 12 December 1994, on the street in Osaka by Tomo Mitsunimi, and another OM member, who sprinkled the nerve agent on his neck. He chased them for about 100 yards before collapsing, dying 10 days later without coming out of a deep coma. Doctors in the hospital suspected at the time he had been poisoned with an organophosphate pesticide. But the cause of death was pinned down only after cult members arrested for the subway attack in Tokyo in March 1995 confessed to the killing. Ethyl methylphosphonate, methylphosphonic acid, and diisopropyl 2-ethylamine were later found in the body of the victim. Unlike the cases for sarin, VX was not used for mass murder. On the night of 27 June 1994, the cult carried out a chemical weapons attack against civilians when they released sarin in the central Japanese city of Matsumoto, Nagano. With the help of a converted refrigerator truck, members of the cult released a cloud of sarin which floated near the homes of judges who were overseeing a lawsuit concerning a real estate dispute which was predicted to go against the cult. This Matsumoto incident killed eight and harmed 500 more. Police investigations focused only on an innocent local resident, Yoshiyuki Kauno, and failed to implicate the cult at the time. It was only after the Tokyo subway attack that Om Shinrikyo was discovered to be behind the Matsumoto sarin attack. In February 1995, several cult members kidnapped Kiyoshi Korea, a 69-year-old brother of a member who had escaped from a Tokyo street and took him to a compound in Kamikuishiki near Mount Fuji, where he was killed. His corpse destroyed in a microwave-powered incinerator. It was disposed of in Lake Kawaguchi. Before Korea was abducted, he had been receiving threatening phone calls demanding to know the whereabouts of his sister, and he had left a note saying, if I disappear, I was abducted by Om Shinrikyo. Police made plans to simultaneously raid cult facilities across Japan in March 1995. Prosecutors alleged Asahara was tipped off about this, and that he ordered the Tokyo subway attack to divert police. Tokyo subway sarin attack and related incidents On the morning of 20 March 1995, OM members released a binary chemical weapon, most closely chemically similar to sarin nerve agent in a coordinated attack on five trains in the Tokyo subway system, killing 13 commuters, seriously injuring 54 and affecting 980 more. Some estimates claim as many as 6,000 people were injured by the sarin. It is difficult to obtain exact numbers since many victims are reluctant to come forward. Prosecutors allege that Asahara was tipped off about planned police raids on cult facilities by an insider and ordered an attack in central Tokyo to divert police attention away from the group. The attack evidently backfired, and police conducted huge simultaneous raids on cult compounds across the country. Over the next week, the full scale of arms activities was revealed for the first time. At the cult's headquarters in Kamikuishiki on the foot of Mount Fuji, police found explosives, chemical weapons, and a Russian Milmi-17 military helicopter. While the finding of biological warfare agents such as anthrax and Ebola cultures was reported, those claims now appear to have been widely exaggerated. There were stockpiles of chemicals that could be used for producing enough sarin to kill 4 million people. Police also found laboratories to manufacture drugs such as LSD, methamphetamine, and a crude form of truth serum a safe containing millions of US dollars in cash and gold, and cells, many still containing prisoners. During the raids, OM issued statements claiming that the chemicals were for fertilizers. Over the next six weeks, over 150 cult members were arrested for a variety of offenses. The media was stationed outside AUM's Tokyo headquarters on Komazawa Dori in Aoyama for months after the attack, and arrests waiting for action and to get images of the cult's other members. On 30 March 1995, Takachi Kunamatsu, chief of the National Police Agency, was shot four times near his house in Tokyo and was seriously wounded. While many suspected OM involvement in the shooting, the Sankey Shimbun reported that Hiroshi Nakamura is suspected of the crime, but nobody has been charged. On 23 April 1995, Hideo Mai, the head of AUM's Ministry of Science, was stabbed to death outside the cult's Tokyo headquarters amidst a crowd of about 100 reporters, in front of cameras. The man responsible 
a Korean member of Yamaguchi Gumi, was arrested and eventually convicted of the murder. His motive remains unknown. On the evening of 5 May, a burning paper bag was discovered in a toilet in Tokyo's busy Shinjuku station. Upon examination it was revealed that it was a hydrogen cyanide device which, had it not been extinguished in time, would have released enough gas into the ventilation system to potentially kill 10,000 commuters. On 4 July, several undetonated cyanide devices were found at other locations in the Tokyo subway. During this time, numerous cult members were arrested for various offenses, but arrests of the most senior members on the charge of the subway gassing had not yet taken place. In June, an individual unrelated to OM launched a copycat attack by hijacking all Nippon Airways Flight 857, a Boeing 747 bound for Hakodate from Tokyo. The hijacker claimed to be an OM member in possession of sarin and plastic explosives, but these claims were ultimately found to be false. Shoko Asahara was finally found hiding within a wall of a cult building known as the Sixth Station, in the Kamiku Ishiki complex on 16 May, and was arrested. On the same day, the cult mailed a parcel bomb to the office of Yukio Aoshima, the governor of Tokyo, blowing off the fingers of his secretary's hand. Asahara was initially charged with 23 counts of murder and 16 other offenses. The trial, dubbed the trial of the century by the press, ruled Asahara guilty of masterminding the attack and sentenced him to death. The indictment was appealed unsuccessfully. A number of senior members accused of participation, such as Masami Sachiya, also received death sentences. The reasons why a small circle of mostly senior OM members committed atrocities, and the extent of personal involvement by Asahara remain unclear, although several theories have attempted to explain these events. In response to the prosecution's charge that Asahara ordered the subway attacks to distract authorities, the defense maintained that Asahara was not aware of events, pointing to his deteriorating health. Shortly after his arrest, Asahara abandoned his post as the organization's leader, and since then has maintained silence, refusing to communicate even with lawyers and family members. After 1995, on 21 June 1995 Asahara acknowledged that in January 1994 he ordered the killing of a sect member, Kotaro Ochida, a pharmacist at a non-hospital, Ochida, who tried to escape from a sect compound, was held down and strangled by another OM member who was allegedly told that he too would be killed if he did not strangle Ochida. On 10 October 1995, Om Shinrikyo was ordered to be stripped of its official status as a religious legal entity, and was declared bankrupt in early 1996. However the group continues to operate under the constitutional guarantee of freedom of religion, funded by a successful computer business, and donations, and under strict surveillance. Attempts to ban the group altogether under the 1952 Subversive Activities Prevention Law were rejected by the Public Security Examination Commission in January 1997. The group underwent a number of transformations in the aftermath of Asahara's arrest and trial. For a brief time, Asahara's two preteen sons officially replaced him as guru. It regrouped under the new name, Aleph, in February 2000. It announced a change in doctrine, religious texts related to controversial Vahiana Buddhist doctrines and Bible were removed. The group apologized to the victims of the sarin gas attack and established a special compensation fund. Provocative publications and activities that alarmed society are no longer published. Fumihiro Joyu, one of the few senior leaders of the group under Asahara who did not face serious charges, became official head of the organization in 1999. Koki a legislator who formed an anti om committee in the National Diet in 1999, was murdered in 2002. In August 2003, a woman believed to be an ex om Shinrikyo member took refuge in North Korea via China. For over 15 years, only three fugitives were being actively sought. At 11.50 p.m. 31 December 2011, Mako Tahirata surrendered himself to the police and was arrested on suspicion of being involved in the 1995 abduction of Kiyoshi Korea, a non-member who had died during a non-kidnapping and interrogation. On 3 June 2012, police captured Naoko Kikuchi, the second fugitive, acting on a tip from local residents acting on information. 
from the capture of Kikuchi, including recent photographs showing a modified appearance. The last remaining fugitive, Katsuya Takahashi, was captured on 15 June 2012. He is said to have been the driver in the Tokyo gas attack and was caught in Tokyo, having been on the run for 17 years. As of 2017, 13 Om Shinrikyo members remain on death row. The condemned members include Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?